Now, can't is a negative word, and negative words are content words, which means they need to be pronounced clearly and heard clearly to be understood. So can't will be clearly and completely pronounced. You must pronounce both the N and the T at the end of the word, can't. Can is considered a function word which are the words that are not quite as important and function words usually reduce. So can will generally sound like kin. The A sound will disappear and will reduce to a, a shorter I sound, kin, kin. And it's important to distinguish it from can't. Non-native speakers very often mispronounce both can and can't, making it impossible for you to hear and understand whether they can or can't do something. For example, can you come on Wednesday or Thursday? I can come on Wednesday. Now, when somebody pronounces it with all the words exactly equal with no reductions, you can't tell if this is a positive sentence or a negative sentence because very often non-native speakers leave off endings on words, like leave off the N and the T or maybe just the T when they find endings too difficult to pronounce. So if this is a yes, you want to say, I can come on Wednesday. The can reduces to kin, and you need to emphasize come, the main verb. I can come on Wednesday. If it's a no, you want to emphasize the negative word. I can't come on Wednesday. You still pronounce come completely, but you need to pronounce the negative can't more strongly even. I can't come on Wednesday. Versus the yes, I can come on Wednesday. Notice the shift in the word stress. You must do this to make your meaning clear. Now I'm gonna give you a little quiz. I'm gonna tell you some things that I am able to do and some things that I am not able to do. So listen carefully and decide which of the things I can do and which of the things I can't do. All right, the first one, I can't play the piano. Two, I can swim very well. Three, I can speak Spanish. Four, I can't speak French. Five, I can sail a sailboat. Six, I can cook very well. Seven, I can't play golf. So how did you do? Were you able to tell which of the things I can do and which of the things I can't do? If not, listen again. You might want to make a note next to each one, either can or can't, or yes or no. And on the next slide, you will have the answers. So if you're not sure yet, make sure to rewind the video and listen again. So here are your answers, my talents. I can't play the piano. I can swim very well. I can speak Spanish. I can't speak French. I can sail a sailboat. I can cook very well. And I can't play golf. So how did you do? Were you able to clearly hear those? I think so. Once you're aware of it, I think it's fairly easy to hear once you know that this is a problem and something that you need to watch for.